All right, Spider-Man fans, I got one for you guys. Welcome to the Video Game Fight School channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. I want to ask you guys a question. From the library of Spider-Man games, which one is your favorite? I'm not really a huge Spider-Man fan, but I do appreciate the character and the representation in media that has been put out there for the most part. And I have played a number of Spider-Man titles and, you know, also enjoyed a number of Spider-Man media in terms of animated, uh, you know, and even, uh, you know, motion picture. But there is something that recently happened. I wouldn't say recently. It happened a number of years ago. I, I was watching the 2018 trailer for the Marvel Spider-Man game on a PlayStation 4. And my kids saw that trailer. And since then, they just thought that Spider-Man was the greatest hero ever. And so now they're Spider-Man fans. And I'm a huge Batman fan. But, you know, you can't really stop them. They really did. You know, they loved what they saw. So they just thought Peter Parker was pretty cool. Plus, it's a cool superhero. You know, if your kids are fans of Spider-Man, that's, you know, that could be cool, uh, you know, for them as well. So what I decided to do was over the years, I started to gather like, you know, some Spider-Man titles. Um, I went back. I got a PlayStation 3. So here you have uh, Edge of Time. It's one of the titles that I was able to get my hands on. I also got the Amazing Spider-Man 2. They haven't really played these ones. I think just recently I got Marvel Spider-Man for uh, my boy on PC. So he's been playing this one anyways because I think I put him on Shattered Dimensions. And, man, that game kicked his butt. I felt so bad for him. I was like, all right, play a modern Spider-Man game so that you can appreciate how good you know it is for a lot of Spider-Man fans. But he's going to go back, well, if he wants anyways. And he's going to go back and probably, you know, knock out this library. Then I got uh, Marvel Spider- Amazing, The Amazing Spider-Man. I think I got one and two. Uh, did I play? I don't remember which one I beat. I think I beat one of them or I beat both of them. I have to go back and look at my video footage. And fortunately, as I was gathering this, I was talking to a lot of, you know, friends. And one of my friends gave me this game. You see what this is? The Ultimate Spider-Man game on PlayStation 2. Apparently, this game is the game that, Spider-Man fans across the world say is probably one of the best Spider-Man games in many regards. I played it for a few minutes because I don't have a PlayStation 2. I was able to borrow a PlayStation 2 from someone and I played it just to, you know, test out the disc. And I think I gave my my boy the controller. He was really young when I got this. I say really young. He was a little a little younger when I got this and I made a video of him just playing the game. He was having a blast. And I thought it was pretty cool uh, to just see that. And I, I can see why the game has a huge impact on a lot of people. However, for me, from the classic games, the game that really has stuck out with me is, um, you know, Shadow Dimension. That's the that's the, the Spider-Man game that really did it for me in regard to the classic titles. I played Shadow Dimension, I think, in 2019. I made a review. Uh, Craven is in that game. That's very interesting that Spider-Man 2 also has Craven in it. I think Amazing Spider-Man something also has Craven as, uh, you know, one of the bad guys. And you can also play as the Venom. That was actually very interesting. I really enjoyed the fact that you could play as different Spider-Man iterations over the course of the game. Some people have called it some kind of a Metroidvania game. I don't know if I'll go as far as to keep that conclusion. That's what I actually concluded that it was. But I like the way you could play as Spider-Man Noir. You could play as these different Spider-Man characters. And they all played differently. It was a cute way to execute... Uh, you know, systems in the game and not allow for too much complexity. So with Spider-Man Noir, you basically were playing a lot of stealth. Uh, you know, if you were playing, say, uh, the, the beat em up, if you weren't playing the other characters, you're playing like, uh, you know, uh, Spider-Man 2049. I forgot the name. The one that's in Edge of Time or whatnot, the futuristic Spider-Man. You got to play as that one. And so it was really interesting to see how the story, you know, was broken down. Uh, across the board and I eventually beat that game it was very it was very interesting very fun some parts are frustrating because controls are really old and so on and so forth because I played it just a few years ago but seeing how these games have come it's understandable uh, you know and I can relate now even more to a lot of Spidey fans out there to say okay so this is your world this is your ecosystem this is what you've been you know uh, enjoying or maybe, you know, in a sense, hoping for in a new game. And I can see how many are excited for Marvel Spider-Man 2. You know, even though when we look at, say, uh, you know, Spider-Man <laughs> 2018 was, uh, I don't know, it was a great game. No doubt about that. I'm not going to take anything away from that game. I think what shocked me more than anything with 2018 Spider-Man were fans' conclusion about the game's story and the ending. The ending and the story didn't really, you know, bother me. There was no impact. I mean, I, like I said, I'm a Batman fan. So I was like, okay, I guess I decided to go with this. But overall, gameplay was quite solid. Yes, Arkham-based, in a sense, or Arkham-influenced, according to Brian Intihar and, uh, you know, some of the folk that made the game. 
But it's really interesting that because Spider Man is such a is such an impactful character, you know, the character is able to still take a game and just make it seem like you know the game is just so uh, Spider Man e. I don't know how to put it. It's like it's a, it's a core Spider Man game as a whole. And I don't see any less coming with Spider-Man 2. It's going to be interesting nonetheless, though, to see how they keep it fresh as the game comes out. But at the same time, I'm curious to know what Spider-Man game in the past really did impact you as a Spider-Man fan or maybe as somebody who just enjoys Spider-Man games. And I want to hear how you think it's going to somewhat you know, relate to the new Spider-Man games in regard to your experience. So let me know in the comment section. I really appreciate you guys' time and audience. And uh, hopefully we'll talk pretty soon in another one. Spider-Man game is coming out pretty soon, and I'm sure many of you are excited. I'm looking forward to it myself. Um, I'm, I don't know. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm still kind of torn because I know it's going to come on PC soon someday. But if I go buy it on the PS5, I'm just going to be spending a bunch of money on it. And I don't know if I'm certain if I want to do that, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I don't want to make any conclusions just yet, uh, but we'll see how you guys are looking forward to the game. And then, you know, I'll see if I'm going to get it at launch. So thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys so much. Peace out.